Good morning, everyone. How would you like to be greeted today? Would you like a peace sign or a curtsy? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. All right. How are you feeling today? You feeling angry, sad, scared, happy, or calm? Happy? We'll get started with our school family song. The good morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo, the good morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo, the good morning train is coming, the good morning train is coming, the good morning train is coming, how are you? Choo, choo, and we'll say hi to Isaac when it comes. We'll say hi to Alejandro when it comes. We'll say hi to Donna. We'll say hi to Sophia. We'll say hi to Madeline when it comes. Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. Good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. And we'll say hi to Monica when it comes. And we'll say hi to Dale when it comes. We'll say hi to Jonathan. We'll say hi to Kimberly. We'll say hi to Jay when it comes. Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. The good morning train is coming. How are you? Choo, choo. I will say hi to Uziel when it comes. We'll say hi to Miss Stephanie when it comes. We'll say hi to Miss Marissa. We'll say hi to Miss Haley. We'll say hi to our mighty minions when it comes. Choo, choo. All right, our school family song is all done. Now we'll move to our safekeeper box. We have 11 friends in our classroom to help keep our classroom safe. And now you all are at home keeping your home safe and your grown ups are your safe keepers. So we are going to count 11 sticks for our 11 friends. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven safe keeper sticks in our box. Now I'm going to close it and lock it. Now you all are at home keeping your home safe. Next, we'll move to our wish well. We added all of your pictures into our wish well hearts. So we are going to wish you all by first putting our hands on our hearts. Then we're gonna take a big deep breath in. We wish you well, we wish you well. All through the day today, we wish you well. We wish you well today and every day. Next, number four, we'll move to our meteorologist and I will get Bear to help us out because Bear has a question and his question is, what's the weather like today? Is it rainy? Not rainy today, not in Arcadia at least. Is it partly cloudy are there some clouds with a little bit of sun clouds and a little bit of sun it is partly cloudy in arcadia today so i'm going to go put one dot on partly cloudy now we 
have one dot on sunny and one dot on partly cloudy. All right, now we're moving on to number five, our calendar helper. Get calendar cat to help us out. All right, calendar cat wants to know what day was yesterday, what day today is, and what day what day is tomorrow. So we gotta move these tomorrow around because yesterday was not Monday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. And tomorrow is Thursday. We have one more day of virtual school and then continuing to stay at home for a couple days and then back to school, hopefully on Monday. So yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday. All right, now we'll move on to number our question of the day encounter. So first we'll start with our question and then we'll count. The question today says, is your home made of clay? Do you have a home made of clay? I don't. So I'm seeing one, two, three thumbs down for no. So we'll come over here and we'll write the number three unknown. And there were zero thumbs up, so I'll write a zero. Hmm, which number is bigger? Three or zero? If you said three, three is the bigger number, so no has more. That means zero is the smaller number. So yes has fewer. Next we'll move to number seven, our daily commitment. This is Potato Head. She is all ready for the day, so we need to get our bodies ready. We'll put on our watching eyes. We need those listening ears on. We need to turn them up so we can hear our grown ups and our friends. We need to eat up those kind words. So I'll throw you some kind words. Eat them up. We need our gentle hands and our walking feet. We can use our running feet outside. Now our bodies are ready, but now let's get them calm by doing our last thing, our breathing. All right, I'm gonna roll our dice and see what we get. We have our hot chocolate breath. So we're gonna hold our mug. And I like marshmallows and whipped cream in my hot chocolate. So I'm gonna put some marshmallows, maybe some whipped cream. You put whatever you like in your hot chocolate. We're gonna take a big smell of it. But it's so hot, we have to blow it out. Take another smell. Blow it out. One more big smell of your hot chocolate. And blow it out. Now you can drink up your hot chocolate. Good, good. All right, one more thing. I'm going to just do a quick review on how we wash our hands at school and maybe it's how you wash your hands at home. So how to wash our hands. We have our step one. We're going to push the paper towel three times. So we'll get our paper towel ready. Step two, we wanna turn on the warm water. So not too hot, not too cold. We want it warm, we want it just right. Turn on the water. Step three, 
Step three, we're going to get our hands wet. Put it in the water. Step four, push the soap one time. And at school, we have our bug to show how much soap we should have. Just that much, just as big as the bug. One time on the soap. Step five, you have two choices. You can sing the hand washing song or you can come to 20. We're going to practice singing our hand washing song. All right, so it goes like this. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Don't forget your thumbs, don't forget your thumbs. Now they're clean, now they're clean. So we chose to sing the hand washing song, but you may choose to count to 20 also. Step six, we have that soap on our hands, so we need to wash the soap off hands. So there's the soap. Now it's your hand goes in the water to wash the soap down the drain, to wash those germs down the drain. Step seven, we're gonna dry our hands. Use our paper towel to dry our hands, the bottoms and the tops. Step eight. You're going to turn off the faucet with the paper towel. So use your paper towel and turn off the water. Step nine, throw the paper towel in the garbage. The end. So that is just a quick review on how we wash our hands at school. I hope you guys have a fabulous Wednesday and I hope to see you tomorrow on Thursday for virtual school. See you later, friends.